So I found myself some propellers for a drone, not just any drone, but a rather expensive one. This is the Mavic 3. And as you can see, I've flown this and made some reviews about this on the channel before. But for the most part, it's 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 got supposedly good ratings. Um, these propellers normally go like ridiculously overpriced. They are roughly about $20 online. Um, so this is by no like but you get four of them for example instead of just two for 20 so this is definitely a snag if you had the option to um but i would be curious to see if what happens when we actually order these because well quite simply they they, they claim a lot of things they claim the one pair two pairs like all these things that are silver tips orange tips and these look very suspicious and i don't know if i'd trust them on my propellers and these are here's carbon fiber versions oh boy we might buy a couple of propellers and uh, see uh, if any of them are actually worth it. And real quick, here is just a bunch of more propellers that are like ridiculously cheap, like eight bucks for a bunch of propellers. I highly doubt it that they'll work, but I'll be curious to see what actually happens when we buy them because they look ridiculously stupid. Well, I have all the different propellers that I ordered. First up, we've got carbon fiber, which Believe it or not, carbon fiber is actually one of the ones that I am kind of skeptical on when it, if it were to hit something. So one of the big things is, especially when you're flying drones, is that if you hit like a twig or a branch, which is not all that uncommon, you don't want to have this shatter into a bazillion pieces and send your drone tumbling to the ground. So I've got four of these propellers. We're going to test a bunch of different things. So keep in mind, DJI is like two propellers cost about $20. And in my experience, DJI's propellers are some of the most unreliable propellers I have ever seen on a drone, simply because this centerpiece right here is so fragile and able to be shattered so easily. Um, the propellers themselves, I don't actually have much issues with. They're actually pretty strong and sturdy, but the actual centerpiece here is so brittle and can be so easily shattered that it makes this whole propeller super unreliable. I've had the drone almost fall out of the sky and actually fall out of the sky multiple times due to the centerpiece of DJI's propellers, their actual propellers, shattering into pieces. So I think that the main thing I'm concerned about is a lot, not so much the blade themselves, but the centerpiece. So another thing I did notice as well is looking at this is that this has more of a screw and rivet design, which also makes me a little skeptical because uh, if you have a screw and then of course like a washer on the back here, it, it makes me curious if that's going to loosen up over time and come out as well. And then of course you're going to have only one propeller. Um, I mean, I'm, that might be so you can replace the propeller so you don't have to replace the whole thing, but I'm gonna be skeptical to see, um, especially uh, just kind of like what the end result looks like. Also, if you compare it to the DJI propellers, you're gonna notice as well is that first off, the, the tips are not rubber, these are carbon fiber. And I also am kind of curious, especially when you hit something, um, one of the big issues the FAA makes, of course, if you're flying over people with your drone, is um, you can't be lacerated by the propellers if the drone were to fall out of the sky. And these are carbon fiber. They're fibrous, sharp uh, fibers. And if you were to, like, you know, hit somebody with that, I could definitely see that cutting somebody um, that's why like DJI's official propellers, they have these rubber tips on the end. So next up, I got a bunch of the most cheapest DJI propellers that I could like knock off DJI propellers that I could find. Um, so the first thing you may notice, um, these look much more similar than, um, the DJI propellers, but they are not the same. The first thing you'll notice is that you can take these blades and do a lot with them. Um, I definitely think for efficiency wise, this is going to definitely see a hit because if you're, you know, bending like that when the propellers themselves don't bend like that much, um, I'm definitely expecting to see some type of performance hit on that. In regards to everything else though, the first thing that I notice is the centerpiece is made not so much, I want to say like a, a carbon fiber material or fiberglass material, but more of a solid well melded plastic piece, which I like a lot. And it's also riveted. So it looks like both the top and the bottom is riveted. So I think it looks very similar, if not the same style to the DJI. If you just bend the propeller like such, you can bend it a lot more than you could with the DJI propeller. 
because that's about as far as I'm getting applying the same amount of pressure. So there's definitely a lot more give on these and I will be curious to see how much of a difference that makes. So I also had some fiberglass propellers for the FPV drone, um, but funny enough, the seller ended up modifying and changing the listing last minute and only sent me two of the four propellers that I ordered. So it's not gonna be as easy to test. And oh wow, that one has already broken. The tip, the rubber tip on this one has already come off. That one's not usable. I think I paid all, got all of these for the same price as two original DJI propellers. So I am curious to see how well these perform because these honestly, the cheapest ones look like the best bet. I mean, besides them being super flimsy, I guess it's time to try them out. So currently I have equipped the ultra cheap propellers and I've actually been using them for the last six months now uh, without issue. We have the carbon fiber propellers. Now, a couple of things that I'm a little interested to see what happens is I'm going to test like an impact on the carbon fiber propellers to see how well it fares when it actually hits something. Because carbon fiber is notoriously brittle um, once it actually, and it shatters really easily. So I'm gonna be really interested to see what happens when we test propellers like that. And then of course we have the DJI propellers with the fiberglass center. I don't know how much weight you're actually saving with the little bit of fiberglass in the middle, but the fact that this is so brittle basically means that anytime this comes under any type of stress, even if there's something wrong in the manufacturing of the propellers, it eventually will cause this to crack and break apart mid-flight. I don't like the idea of having multiple propellers, in my experience, break apart mid-flight um, just with literally no damage to them. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of these. So. I've flown with these before. We'll do some tests, we'll do some time comparisons. Do a sound test, do like a performance test, see how long it takes for each of these to go, I guess. So yeah, I finally, after playing with this, with like pretty much doing all things you should not do with propellers, I finally got this to come undone. And I had to like, you have to like squeeze and twist it to finally get the rivet to come undone. If, you're, if your drone is going in contact with something and you're twisting the propeller like that, like, I don't know, like that maybe, you have bigger problems up your sleeve. And it has both sides riveted, so it is pretty dang locked in there. And the best part is, you can put the rivet right back in there and it still go. Let's first off test the carbon fiber propellers. Then we'll test the cheapo propellers and see what we get from there. Oh gosh, it's not even taking off. Uh, yeah, this is what the propellers look like on the very end. Uh, and here's the drone all set up with my favorite propellers, my new favorite propellers now. These propellers, in my opinion, are a little bit more durable. So, that was quieter than I actually remember, so it seems that it's quieter. But like, yeah, I definitely found that this plastic was quieter and the propellers themselves seem to be a little bit sturdier. So I want to simulate what happens in an impact. Now remember, drones, for me, my personal opinion, when a propeller hits something, A, you shouldn't be hitting stuff. But if it does, you don't want the propeller to shatter shatters you have no hope of recovering the drone and i'm just gonna keep hitting it and like that's what i mean look at that and if you hit it oh my gosh if you hit this sucker straight on i'm gonna i'm gonna even yeah look at this basically yeah that's what you're looking at right there you hit something straight on this is what I, this is the problem with carbon fiber a lot of times is that it just, I mean, would this probably land? I think maybe. The centerpiece actually surprised me more. So I just went through and hammered the crap out of these super cheap propellers. To put my findings lightly, um, this center joint is miles ahead of the fiberglass center joint that is found on the DJI propellers. It just, it blows me away that the material, well, yes, maybe being 
higher quality slash lighter, the material on here is much more durable. It can take a lot more beating. It's a quieter propeller. So it just, it, it makes me so curious to know why a $2 propeller is more durable than a, well, $10 propeller. And I will say this pretty much straight up. I have been never more thoroughly impressed by something that came off of Wish that was much better, miles ahead better, in fact, than the manufacturer. This didn't shatter. I've had DJI propellers shatter left and right. I've had clips break off. I bang the clips good, there's nothing shattering off of this. So for this to take a beating and still fly, versus the propellers directly from DJI that can't even withstand flying in the air half the time, I just, it blows me away at the, that kind of disparity. In regards to our carbon fiber and me looking extremely white in the sun, I still think the major flaw point, of course, is going to be a screwed in joint um, between the joint and the, the joint and the blade. I just think that's such a bad combination and I mean it would have been much higher quality if it was riveted. I think overall the material is roughly the same material as the previous propellers. I think the center joint would be much more durable than the DJI ones. So in conclusion, propellers are a mixed bag. Some propellers, especially the ones that you think would be higher quality like the carbon fiber ones, were really sensitive at the center. I was actually surprised um, you know, carbon fiber is of course advertised as being that light and durable material, and uh, it does have its faults as a material. Um, but I was really surprised by just the lack of cost cutting in the center, that the plastic, you know, shattered pretty much instantly. Uh, the, you know, I think the fiberglass versions of the stock props at the center shatter really easily. And I'm surprised that that's a trend across multiple propellers, um, whereas this plastic is more prone to warping. Um, obviously, you don't want to damage your propellers, um, but there are certain instances like a hawk attacking your drone that that's a real possibility. And the fact that, you know, multiple propellers from both the manufacturer and supposed to be the high quality carbon fiber ones are having issues just shows that you should probably consider at least investigating your own propellers, especially when the ones from DJI cost like, like 15 bucks currently, 16 bucks for two of these. Um, whereas I got, what is it, four of these for seven, um, for third party props. Um, it's less likely you're going to want to test these propellers, um, but just be aware that this centerpiece is, at least on the Mavics, um, Mavic 3 at least, was having some issues. Um, my FPV props are usually solid one piece, so those are a little less prone, a little less prone to being damaged, um, but I was just surprised by how fragile the center, uh, portion was. So in conclusion, just feel free to test your stuff. You don't want to be in a situation where you have to find out the hard way. I'm going to be trying to fix something. I've uh, been there, done that.